Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sergeant Cheetos and in today's video, we're doing a how to use Procreate Pocket part two. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to go from creating a concept sketch all the way to a finished product all on your Procreate Pocket. And if you guys are interested, part one is going to be down below. And for those of you that have watched it, you guys know that I use Procreate Pocket on my iPhone. And today's inspiration comes from the new Rugrat series that's coming to Paramount Plus which for me being a 90s kid was one of my all time favorite cartoon shows growing up. And for today's drawing, I'm going to be taking a concept from one of my most favorite and most memorable episodes that I remember from when I was a kid. And that's the watermelon episode. And that's when Chucky eats a watermelon seed and Angelica makes him think he's going to explode. <laughs> and if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button. It would really help me out with the YouTube algorithm and as well, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's a easy way and cheap way to help out my channel and its growth. All right, guys, let's get started. So first thing I always do is I make sure that I have the color correct, the one I want to draw in, which is going to be black. And I make sure I have the correct pen, which I like using the studio pen. And if anybody's using their iPhone and their finger to draw on Procreate Pocket, I would highly recommend the studio pen just because it helps you be able to go from a thick line to a sharp point at ease with just your finger. So if you guys are using your iPhone, I would highly recommend using the studio pen. And next, we're going to make sure that we have the right pen size, which for myself, I like using size 3. I feel like it's that uh, Goldilocks porch situation where size 3 is just right. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. So it makes perfect for drawing and sketching. So that's the size I personally like. You guys can test out and play around with the sizes of the pen and find the one that's perfect for you. But personally, this is the one I like drawing in. And this right here is going to be one of the most basic and simple things that you guys are going to learn from this video, which is to always make sure that your opacity is set to 100, just because if you ever use the layer as your reference to uh, color in and drag and drop color into your drawing, if for whatever reason you accidentally moved it and it's not set to 100, your color is going to leak right through and it's going to become a whole headache trying to fix that whole situation. So always make sure you have it set to 100. All right, guys, let's get to actually sketching something. And one thing that I learned myself just from trial and error and just drawing myself is I learned that drawing is kind of like making a sculpture. All you want to do is just get some shapes into place and just kind of start forming an idea of what you actually want to be drawing. So in the first concept stage, don't worry about what it's going to look like. Just start shaping out where you're going to want characters if that's what you're doing, kind of like myself. You start forming big blocky shapes. Just pretend you're a kindergartner again and the heads are just circles, bodies are squares. Just something simple. All you want to do is just start molding out an idea of what you're going to want to do. Which is what you guys see me currently doing on screen, which is I'm just shaping out. I'm going to want five characters, obviously five Rugrats. We have Chucky, Tommy, Phil and Lil, and Angelica in the shot, and as well the big watermelon in the middle. And for the next step, what we're going to do is after we have our big blocks down, we're going to want to start shaping out a little bit more on um, what we want each character to be. As you currently see right now, I'm adding the hair for obviously that's going to be Chucky and the glasses. You kind of just start shaping out what you're going to want to be doing. So what I like to do is uh, just start drawing the postures and the overall shapes that I'm going to want to be the characters kind of like their position on where they're going to be looking their hair just kind of start shaping up a little bit more of what I'm going to want in the drawing so you guys start seeing a little bit more for the first initial concept stage you guys start seeing me uh, placing every character how they're generally going to look throughout the entire drawing and as you guys can tell obviously on the left I have Phil and Lil they're eating a watermelon slice and on the right I have Tommy and Angelica that way I kind of form a balance on the left side is brother and sister on the right side is cousins which if you guys are Rugrats fans you guys know this of course and one of the most useful tools you guys can use throughout this concept stage is as you guys see me doing very often is the cutting tool which this one you can either move everything around as a whole or move pieces around just to make it a little bit easier for yourself. So just make sure to use that. That way you guys don't have to completely redraw your shape. And after we have shaped out a little bit of what we're thinking of going with, we go ahead and create a second layer and we're gonna go ahead and start refining our original sketch. And right here, you're gonna go ahead and select the magic wand. You're gonna go ahead and select effects and select opacity and you're gonna lower the opacity on the first layer. That way you can draw on top of it without a problem. So right here, we're gonna go back, select the second layer. And now we're gonna start refining our sketch. 
All right, guys, so let's get to refining the characters. And one of the most important things I learned just from trial and error is to make sure to draw every individual character in their own separate layer. That's because obviously they're going to be overlapping. And just in case you end up not liking the design of one, doesn't mean you have to go back and erase the entire piece as a whole. It, you just go back and edit that certain layer and fix whatever you don't like. That way you save yourself some time. So trust me, just do everything in separate layers, you'll save yourself a bunch of time and headaches. All right, guys. And as you guys can tell on screen, I'm currently working on Chucky. And for the second stage sketch, I don't focus too much on the fine details. Right here, I just focus on refining the original big blocky shapes and shaping out on what I'm actually going to want it to look like. So I give it a better representation of what we're going to be drawing. So right here, don't focus too much on the fine details. Just focus I'm refining it a little bit more from what it used to be. And if you're anything like me and you have trouble with finer details, kind of like with hands, this is a perfect stage for you to skeleton out on what you're going to want to be drawing just because you can make just more big solid shapes as you guys see. The hands and fingers are a little bit blocky, but it works because on stage three, you'll go ahead and refine that even further. And right here, like I mentioned, I'm creating a third layer. And right here is where I'm going to go ahead and start drawing our second character, which in this case is going to be Tommy Pickles. And another time-saving tip, instead of having to erase a section that you don't like, kind of like right here with Tommy's head, I'm not too happy with the shape of it. So I kind of use the Select tool, which is the S tool on the top left, and using the Freeform tool, which allows you to edit the width and the height of the certain section you selected which right here you guys see me a lot of stretching out the width of Tommy's head just because what I was going for the original head size was too small and overall I end up with the perfect product that I liked so just for you guys in case you guys want to use it don't be scared to use it especially during the second stage so we want to make sure we take advantage of all the tools that we have in Procreate Pocket and next right here we're going to work on Angelica but I'm not too happy with the placement where she currently is at so like I mentioned make sure to always work in layers right here I use the select tool and move the shape over more to the right and now we create a different layer and we start drawing Angelica and up next as we finish Phil, I decide, you know what, since he is an identical twin, let's go ahead and take that layer, hit duplicate on it. We're going to create Lil out of Phil, move him over to the right. And then from there, we're going to select the setting tools at the bottom. Right there, we're going to hit horizontal and we're going to flip the image horizontally. So that way Phil and Lil are looking at each other and bam, we just saved ourselves a bunch of time. All right, guys, and as I begin to wrap up stage two of the refinement of the sketch, I'm going to make some final movements of each individual character. So I make sure that I place them exactly where I want them. That way I don't have too much space in between characters. So right here, you guys just saw me touch up on Angelica and Tommy. And this is why I say it's very important to do everything in layers so you can edit one and it won't affect the next layer. And the final step to get into the final product, I pinch every single layer together. That way I can go ahead and make them into one complete layer. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and create a new layer and we're going to select the original one and we're going to go ahead and select effects and lower the opacity so we can begin on our final line work. And right here, I'm going to go ahead and jump forward and show you guys how I selected the colors for the drawing. So I just took a regular image off the internet of the Rugrats and I'm just going to go ahead and select their colors and go ahead and just drag and drop. But before I do that, you always got to remember, you got to create uh, a reference point from this layer and then create a new layer. And now you can drag and drop and not worry about mixing up your layers. All right, guys, I'm going to let you enjoy the entire piece. See you guys at the end. Yeah. Hey. Feeling fresh, summer recess. Got shorty wearing a cocktail dress. Yeah, she got style in excess. Ain't nobody match her to the best. Call a homie, maybe two. I finna link up and go and get a bro. Cause we ain't got school no more. We ain't got school no more. Got no obligations, so we taking a jet. Flying PJs, cause I'm in my sweats. Tripping to another country, I can't even pronounce. I'm packing much more than I'm allowed. What I'm about, I put a stamp in my passport. Once I have one, Man, I'ma need to get more, yeah, I, I collect them all I won't stop till I get them all Capture the memories, what happens was what was meant to be Save that, save that pic on my phone Save that one pic on my phone 
capture the memories What happens was what was meant to be Save that, save that pic on my phone Save that one pic on my KBBA, phone KBBA, one of the finest Just touched down in an underclimate Nevertheless, know what to rhyme with Ride with the boys cause we got license So we rent cars, explore the town Pedal to the metal until we out All the problems, I forgot them cause I left them back home I ain't looking at the rear view and swerving on the road Face difficulties and I bounce back Embrace what it is, yeah we bow that Life is sweet and I feel it when I eat new cuisine That I explore, be improving my physique Take a seat as we sitting at the cafe Cause we had days, no food, had to hibernate Now I never sleep, cause I like that taste Yeah, I can say that life is great Capture the memories, what happens was what was meant to be Alright guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this entire process of coming up with a concept and making it into a final finished product. I personally am extremely happy on the results and for anybody who's interested, stick around to the end. I have a special surprise. And of course, if you enjoyed this video or found it informative, make sure to hit that like button. It would really help out my channel, especially with the YouTube algorithm. You guys have no idea how much this would actually help out my channel and as well, Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys can stick around for more dope content. Alright guys, and lastly before I let you guys go, I usually do get comments asking what do I use to do my digital drawings and I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys. What I use is this, my iPhone 6 and unfortunately it's cracked but sometimes an artist you gotta make it work and for drawing I use these, my big old fat old fingers. <laughs> and where I'm going with this is I'm trying to raise up some money so I can go ahead and buy a refurbished iPad. Nothing too fancy, maybe like the iPad 6 or 7 and an Apple Pencil. But even refurbished and a Gen 1 Pencil still runs you about $400. So for anybody who's interested, I will be selling these stickers on my Etsy shop, which are 3 inch waterproof matte vinyl stickers and they're priced at $3. So generally that is a typical price for any type of waterproof sticker that people use especially for hydro flash or if you want to use it for your laptop for whatever you may want to use it but i do have several designs up on my etsy shop such as this goku sticker that i have right here that i just drew up on my spare time as well as other stickers such as the godzilla sticker that i made on one of my previous videos and i do have a custom sticker section so in case you guys have ever wanted to print anything out i can make that for your sticker for you as well so if you guys do want to support my channel support me as an artist head on over to my etsy shop the link's going to be down below and let's go ahead and raise this money so we can get an ipad and uh, make better content for you guys. Alright guys, until next time. Peace.